a miracle for me. Not mentioning any, anything negative like. The Dafke Bibirchas Hagemo. And Dafke Bibirchas Hagemo, when the person feels that he was rescued from one of the difficult situations, if it is uh, uh, um, in prison or overseas or in a desert or was sick, Dafke then Maskina Chayva Lapsmi. He mentions something negative. Hagemo Lachayovin Tevishek Molani Tevishek. That Hashem was generous, that He gave, He was generous with, with people that are, although they're Chayovim, they're not really innocent, still He gave them goodness. So the question is, why is it by Birchas Hagim, or what is this union of mentioning Chayovim? Well, the Vayr, the. Right, so this is what the, this is what the Rebbe is going to explain further. The Rebbe is going to explain it, I'll pick Sidos, what does it mean, these four in Yonim? In a, on a personal level, to, uh, 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 going uh, descending into the sea, uh, uh, traveling in a desert, uh, being in a prison, sick, these are all Yonim, al Pichsidas. You did this on the Shama the Guf, the descent of the Nishama in the body. Is he hinting at these questions that he was guilty? That what? That he was guilty? He's asking the question and in the explanation. He is writing, and if you want to look further, you look on the third page, he's writing what is the union of uh, that the Ebishtha gives him the occasion to pay his debt. This is the union of Chavis. But uh, the Chi of, of completing his Aveda, his service in this physical world, his mission in this physical world. Oh, but, uh, there, there was another thing that I figured you were asking. And that is, it's interesting to note, when he mentions the four in Yonim, it's not just that he was in Beis Asurin. There's a part which is mentioned, although it's not really so publicized, but it, it, it was found the cloud that the Vedic Rebbe in a, it was partially tortured, I mean, thrown down a staircase, was hurt. When, if I'm not mistaken, I think he took him to the hospital for a few days to treat him. It was the union of Achelish and Nisrape. It was also that. It was uh, everything together. And can say Poshit Begashmi is a Russian jail, had all four. Uh, uh, the black guy should, should get killed. What? Well, yeah. yeah, there was a Hatchil of the plan, right. Then you know, then they erased it, and in 10 years, yeah. It was all mixed up. You don't have crossing a sea. You don't have crossing a sea. All right. Oh, but um, the Indianum of Chelish and Israpa is very interesting because this is Mamish. Fear you have a was. Uh, I mean, if, him, if I'm not mistaken, Chotz, they say, was another cause. There's multiple sclerosis that came later in the early 30s. But they say it was also an ahem to, to the imprisonment. That his health started to fail in the beginning of the 30s. I mean, you have the famous picture, the Rebbe standing with the Fidika Rebbe, holding on. This was already, Fidika was already in a, in a health situation. That he needed support. It was already, uh, it was hard for him to stand. It was much weak. 1936. 1940 was already paralyzed, was it a wheelchair? Uh, it was already, they say, after Pezayan, this was the beginning of, of uh, fading in health. <coughs> so, so Mela, the Rebbe begins quoting now from the previous Rebbe and explains what the previous pre- pre- Rebbe mentions about how he begins explaining what it means, thanking the Abishter for the different, one of the four situations that a person finds himself in and uh, successfully. Uh, uh, went out of it. In order to explain it, the Friediger Rabbi, the previous Rabbi, introduces in his Maimer and he says the following that it is known the Yeridas Hanashama Begoof, the descent of the soul in the body, Hagam Shehi Yerida Gedela been made, although it's a great descent in the Yerida Zut Seirachaliyah. This descent is for the purpose of ascending after, which means that the purpose, the ultimate goal of this descent is not a descent in its own right, not for the descent itself, but it's in order to elevate to a higher level, and therefore it is coming down in this physical world and mm-hmm. a- attaining all the different qualities that the Nishama attains, and therefore it reaches them to a level which is higher, that, higher yet than, the original, uh, than its original status. This union of Yerida Tzedek Haliyah, and the Mela, as Rebbe explains in regards to the three weeks, that since eventually, as we see by the three weeks, that the three weeks eventually will be converted to Yom and Tevim, so therefore, even now, it doesn't have its fullest significance, strength, because eventually it's just temporary. 
it, it's considered temporary because eventually you'll be converted. The Rebbe connects it with a halach in Gemara, that the Gemara says, Shinoi HaChezer Libriyose is not considered a Shinoi. A change that, that, that will later return back to its original status is not considered a real change. For example, a person made a change. He, he bought some, he stole something and he made a change in it. So the question is, does he gain ownership of it or not? So, the thing, so it says that a Shinoi that comes back to its original status is not considered a true Shinoi. True change. So the Rebbe says the same thing has also been a gear the three weeks. That sin, since Yehovcho the Sosno the Simcha be converted to Sosno the Simcha, so it had uh, joyful days, joyous days. So therefore, even now, it is not really a, a, in, in its essence, it's just a temporary thing, Bismana Golos. So the same thing is also the union of the descent of the Nishama. That the Nishama went down the matter, certain union that needs to accomplish. And when it comes down the matter, it is not comfortable. And that, therefore, we need that the neshama should be bakor chachatachai. The neshama is forced to exist here lamata because the mitzvah says that the neshama lachatzil doesn't want to go down lamata. And as the famous nigan, the nigan that our neshama yeredes latecha guv, the neshama descends in the guv. So there's the famous siddish and nigan that it screams vai vai, it screams woe. To, to the, 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 the neshama feels the descent that comes down here lamata. After it completes the 120 years. So then comes Balkor Chachat so Then it says that the Nishama is forced to leave. So the Rebbe asked the question, which is it? Is it it's forced to live or is it forced to, to, to die? Is it forced to elevate Lamailo, to leave the body? So the Rebbe says both hold true. Originally the Nishama doesn't want to come down the matter. It is a Yerida descent. It is, it is a Golos. Pasher an exile for the Nishama. Once the Nishama comes down the map and it still sees the market, we're talking here not about the Wall Street market, we're talking here about the spiritual market of the Poshet of Teiro Mitzvahs, and we say Tevli Teira Spicha Malfei Zorva Kesef, that the Teira Spicha, the Eibish, there's more than thousands of gold and silver, which means, it, uh, gold and silver means, it's interesting to note, when we say Teira Zorva Kesef, so Shleim HaMelech says, that my, your teda is more than, than thousands of gold and silver. So literally it means gold and silver. But then comes a, a deeper meaning. Siddhas explains that this, the teda mitzvah that the neshama accomplishes in this physical world is more than the av and yira, the love and fear that the neshama has for the yibishter, lamaila, before it came down. Although lamaila, before the neshama came down, it says, Chai Hashem Elekei Yisrael Hashem Maditi Lefonov that I stood, the Nishama says, I stood for Hashem, and I had a fear, uh, I have a fear for Hashem, and love for Hashem. So, when all this is good and fine, but when Nishama comes down the matter, the Teira Umitzvah, Teira Spicha, is more than the Zohar Vakasev, which refers to the fear and love of Hashem. So, therefore, this is basically the Nishama, what she's accomplishing. When Nishama sees all of this, she doesn't want to leave. So, this is the second part, which is given by the 120 years. So then the Rebbe continues, We can explain the connection of these in Yonim. We can explain as the, the, the connection, as the Alter Rebbe mentions in the Geras HaKedosh, which is the fourth part, the fourth section of Tanya. That the beginning of the Golos, of the exile, in a very delicate way, is the Nishome coming down in this physical world. It is a descent uh, in, from a high roof into a deep ditch, which is an expression in the Gemara in Chagiga, as it's usually noted. And the uh, expression and the idea is Meigro Roma from a very high level, from one extreme to another extreme, from the highest extreme to the lowest. Bira Mikta. The Yerida Zuhi Gam Inya Shabesa Surim. It is considered a prison. The descent from a high roof to a, a deep, deep ditch is even more yet than leaving a house to go to prison. 